Kelly. Uh, you must be very pleased with that performance today. Yeah, it was. It was a really strong performance. You know, that's two weeks back to back on the road, and we've come away with two big wins. So, you know, that's satisfying for the group. But it just hopefully starts us building some more momentum, and you know, we've got another big challenge in six days now. How good was your mosquito fleet today? Uh, your small forwards that to hit the scoreboard so yeah. hard. Ah, uh, look, they were really good. But I thought the big full forward was special. That's what I thought. I thought he was fantastic. I uh, just saw his contest, Charlie, the way he went about it. He didn't hit the scoreboard, I said to the boys in the room. I thought it was nearly the best game he's played for us this year, and he's played some good footy. But you said the small boys, Jakey and Jars and Chad and Youngy, they all hit the scoreboard in a big way, but I think a lot of it came off the back of his work. So even though he didn't kick a goal, you rated him that highly? Oh, I thought it was an sand game for Charlie. I thought it was a really strong performance. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's big and he gets monster and he gets grabbed hold of and gets held on to, but you know, he doesn't get much help from, from a free kick point of view, but he, gets, you know, he just brings the ball to ground. It's one of the bonuses too. Jakey needs defensive pressure has been great, but he hit the scoreboard with four today, a career high, and also Aaron Young, of course. And Jarman Impey's given you something special up there, hasn't he? Yeah, they have. Look, there's no doubt about that. They've brought some energy to the team. And Jake, we've really trusted up in the front half for a long time now. And, you know, he's just growing. He hasn't played that many games of football. Jar's the same. You know, Jar's would be into, into the 40s, I reckon, now with his games of football. And Jake, not too far behind, maybe not quite as many as that. But they're just growing and they've, they've been pretty solid. Is that your story, Jarman Impey's transition from being defender into, into forward? Yeah, we, look, we drafted him thinking he could play back, forward and midfield. Parks and the boys, you know, they said he's, he's got some flexibility. And, you know, uh, we've played him probably 30, 35 games in the, in the back line. He's done some pretty good jobs for us. He's certainly shown at the moment that he can play in the forward line. I think you'll probably find at some stage he'll, he'll drift into the midfield. Is that your best display for the season? Um, it was pretty consistent through the whole four quarters. I think, you know, as I said last week, it was pretty good. Well, we've had some good games, there's no doubt about that, but we've been too inconsistent, which we've said you know, plenty of times. But you know, it was up there with, with one of our good performances. Coming to the MCG is always good, playing well here. You know, I think we've got a, we do play pretty good here at the G. It's, it's only the second time you've won consecutive games this year. Do you feel like you've turned the corner a bit with those last two performances? A big win against Melbourne and uh, again today. Yeah, I said a couple of weeks ago, Andrew, I said we haven't, we're, we're, we're sort of at the corner. I reckon we're having a little look. Have a look around the corner. We, we've just got to be convinced that we've got to keep going and go around the corner. I think that's really important for us. And, you know, the big challenge next week, we, we get to play the, the dogs and, you know, at Adelaide Oval. And look, I hope all our fans turn up. That's what I really hope happens. You know, we've sort of dropped away a little bit because we haven't been consistent for them. I'd like to think they're watching us over the last couple of weeks and saying, OK, we're coming back to watch you play and we fill up Adelaide Oval next week. Jack had concerns early. Ken Collingwood looked on, kicked the first two. You know, you turned it around, but were you worried early? Yeah, you're always worried when the side gets away to a couple in, the, in a row. And but I thought the game was pretty, obviously, very new, early. And we were we were not doing a couple of things in the contest that we prefer to do. And once we got going in that area, I thought we, you know, we got the ball down our half. We got a good number of entries again. And, and as you said, we scored pretty quickly when we got there. Nice job by the kid, first game. Good one. Yeah, Logan. Yeah, well, our bad back line. If you look at our back line yeah. at the moment, you know, uh, I said in the rooms we. Potentially, that could have been our Magpies back line bar one or two boys at the start of the year. And it just goes to show that if you all do a, you know, stick together and play a role as a group, you know, and as a unit, the back line have done that really well. And you know, size hasn't really hurt us. And, and Logues today did a really good job first up. Was that a big risk, a big decision to put him on you know, a renowned superstar like Travis Clark, even though he hasn't been in great form, obviously? Yeah, I, I, look, I, suppose, I suppose it is a bit of a risk. But you pick him as a tall back. Uh, and he's a full-back in the, in the Magpies, and he plays week in, week out on the best forwards there. And when you come up, you're going to make it as a tall-back in the AFL. You've got to play on the good players. And, you know, as you said, Travis was, hasn't been in great form, but he would have been pretty keen to play well today and thought Logs was solid. Is your next challenge to, to beat a top-eight team? Well, next challenge is to win next week. Yep, that's what it is. And, you know, we, you know, look, we don't probably look at the ladder as much as you do because we think every game's tough, every game's hard to play, and every game's hard to win. And, you know, whoever we play, we're, we just want to perform at our best. And, yeah, next week is a, a great opportunity, as you said, purely by the ladder to beat a side that's quite high on the ladder. So we take that opportunity and see where we go. Injuries are mounting. How bad is the, uh, the knee injury that Alipade Carlo uh, suffered in the SNFL? Yeah, no, it's significant. He probably, look, look, the, the likelihood is he'll be finished for the year. It's a PCL injury, so he's um, probably not going to play again this year. And if he does, it will only be maybe the last couple. How big a blow is that for the team? Obviously, he's been playing set. Also for him as well, trying to get back in. Oh, yeah, it's more, it's more a play, obviously, for Bobby. That's you know, who you feel for the most, because he's been really honest with his own ability to play at AFL. We've been getting some football into him at sample level, but he, he knew himself he wasn't able to do exactly what he needed to do to play AFL football. So he was out there playing week in, week out. It's a big blow to him. It's a blow to us, clearly, because he's our full-back and has been for a number of years. So, But, you know, as, as we say, we lose one, we, we bring one in.
And Thomas's ankle, do you know how bad that one is? No, I don't. I haven't been home. Look, it was pretty significant. He, he was able to come back on the second half and, and kick a couple of goals, so that was a good thing that he got out there. But when you come back on, you tend to pay a price the next week, so I'm not sure. Yeah, the last time we spoke here, when you got done by Carlton, you didn't want to talk about anything about boat injury talk and all that jazz, but he, he's turned the corner a bit in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, Today, he's, he's got over that injury. Well, don't tell me that. <laughs> um, no, he's been really good. He's a great captain. You know, he's worked hard, and that's what he's done. He's, he's worked really hard to turn his form around. He hasn't been playing well. We're, we know that our leadership group of players need to play well for us to be a, a confident side, and that's what, you know, Travis and Hamish and Brad, and if I go through them all, I'll miss someone, but they all, they all understand. We're not like, unlike any other side. You now, our recognised players are the ones who have to play consistently well week in, week out. They understand that. That's their responsibility. Yeah, they are. I, I'm sort of getting a little bit excited that they might be nearly back, but you know we, we'll get to the bye probably, I think, without them. And then I would suspect both boys will play the, the game straight after the bye. So hopefully they, they continue to progress the way they have been. All good? Thanks. 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 Thanks.